Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do cross compiling with Go. If you took the default binary builds, you will find that it supports only your current architecture and your current operating system. You can try uh, running Go OS and Go Arc um, and it will give you an error saying that the target operating system and um, op uh, architecture has not been bootstrapped. What you need, uh, what it is trying to do is to find uh, within the Go directory, uh, within the package folder, if it has got the the binary files to do uh, a build for the target architecture if, when it does not find in which case in this case there's only Darwin and AMD64 which is on my machine when it does not find target um, it errors out if you went into the source folder um, and try to build for the target architecture then it is going to say that it does not have uh, the tools to build uh, for the target architecture in which case this is uh, in this particular case it is GCC so there are two things that you need you need to have um, the entire source code um, which you get using Mercurial and you also need the tools uh, to build them now what we're going to do first is to clear out the existing um, go files that we have so that we can start afresh once you have that, we can install Mercurial from the selenic.com uh, website. Uh, once you have it installed, you'll have the HD command, uh, which you can then run uh, to bring down the source code. It also requires during build time. So uh, copy over the uh, URL uh, or rather the command line to clone the Mercurial folder um, from code.google.com. It will take a few minutes. Uh, you can let that be. Once it is downloaded, you can see that um, it's got all the files, uh, all the source code, but you'll also notice that it does not have the binary directory, neither does it have the package directory because nothing has been built for your particular um, operating system. This is just the raw source files. So now you need to build it. Uh, before we build it, uh, you might be using a different operating system. I'm using the Mac OS X, um, but you can go to this particular website and uh, find out how to install the tools for your operating system. Now for the Mac OS X I need to have Xcode installed and then use that to install the command line utilities. I've also done uh, the same thing for Ubuntu, whatever has been described uh, on this page and it has worked for me. Um, the other is also sure to work so go through this depending on the particular operating system that you're using. I'm going to continue the demonstration using Mac OS X. So for the Mac OS X um, after you install um, Xcode uh, you can go to preferences um, downloads components and check the command line tools and then have it installed uh, this will take a while to install and once that is done you will be able to check gcc on your command line you will also have installed hg which is a mercurial command for the command line uh, ha having done that you can then go into the source directory for golang and uh, for me it is coding golang go and then source and you can uh, run the command uh, for uh, uh, running the build. Now remember that your default Go OS and Go Arc defaults to your operating system and architecture. So there's nothing to uh, do to build for your particular operating system. Just need to do all the bash and it will build the entire thing for you. It's fairly quick and once that is done you'll have a new package directory and a bin directory with the command line tools. I'm just going to demonstrate with um, the uh, a simple program. As you can see, I've built a hello world.go um, locally and it can be executed on the local uh, machine. Now, how are you going to do this for a different machine? What you need to do is to go back uh, to the source folder and now give uh, different parameters like Go OS equal to Windows, it could be Linux or one of the other ones that is allowed, you can see it on the site itself and you also need to give it an architecture I'm going to put AMD64, it could be 386 or uh, ARM um, provided the OS and the uh, architecture is supported as soon as it's built you'll find a folder for Windows also um, now using uh, the same pattern Go OS equal to Windows, Go Arc equal to AMD64, you can do a build on the uh, Go file that you have and you will, can now see that there's an exe file and the um, uh, Mac OS X executable. You want to do the same thing for say Linux and the ARM architecture. Just follow the same 
process and you will have a new folder within package that is suitable for this build environment and you will be able to run programs um, for or you will be able to compile and build programs for the Linux CRM architecture. That is quite how simple it is to cross compile using Go and to make your programs available for multiple platforms, uh, for multiple OSs, multiple architectures. Um, have fun with Go. Uh, hopefully that was useful to you and I uh, hope to see you all again soon. Thank you so much.